welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the title today i'm back with another haul video um today i'm bringing you guys a princess poly haul i literally have so much stuff here behind me i have already taken out a couple of things from the package one of them being what i'm wearing right now and also a jumper which i'll show you guys in a second but guys this package is so heavy like there is so many things in there um oh my god christ sliding off my bed here so you guys i'm literally filming this video at like 9 30 in the morning i literally just got ready in like half an hour because i really wanted to get this video out for you guys as you guys know i am moving at the moment i'm moving on monday so literally in like four days um wait what day is it today it's wednesday yeah, so I've got four days to get ready for my move, but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. So, yeah, I'm sorry if the background and everything's not that great. Like, I don't know if the lighting's even that good, but I just had to, like, set up everything super, super quickly. Before I start this video, I need a burp, apparently. <laughs> Christ. Sorry, as I was saying, um, before I start this video, I did want to let you guys all know that I do have a discount code for Princess Polly for you guys. So I'll leave that on the screen as well as down below, you guys already know the drill all the info of everything is always down below as well as the links and the link to the website and everything like that so without further ado i'm just gonna get straight into the video otherwise i'll be bubbling all day long um i'll start off with what i'm wearing now i had to check this on because it looks super comfy so i got this play suit right here i like don't know how i'm gonna show you guys it's probably i'm probably gonna have to get up on my bed Oh my god, I'm sorry, my boots are now. Um, <laughs> wow, this is so awkward. But this is the play suit right here. So it's just like a really comfy um, cotton kind of material play suit. It's like a ribbed fabric. And it's super comfy. I got this one in an extra small. I should probably like button it up one more because this is a bit ridiculous. Oh my god. It doesn't work. Okay, I can't go with it. Um, but yeah, I got this one in an extra small and it's super comfy. This is what it looks like at the back so this is definitely something that you could wear either at home just lounging around or you could also wear it out in public as well i'd wear this with like a pair of high like jordans or even like just any kind of sneakers with high socks and also a puffer jacket in the colder months and also with a puffer jacket as well just chucked on top while we are in winter but this is super cute it's super comfy it fits really well it's not super tight which i do like because you can kind of you know move around in it and it looks a little bit more chill that way i think but yeah that's the first thing that i got next up back here i've actually also already worn this as well i just couldn't wait um to film this video <laughs> But I got this like grey coloured puffer jacket. I don't really see grey coloured puffer jackets that much. So I actually don't ever think I've seen a grey puffer jacket. Like that's this kind of mall. Do you call it mall? I don't know. But yeah, when I started the website, I had to pick it up. It's also got a hood as well. And this is super comfy. I love how puffy it is. No worries. No actual worries, boo. That's fine. Just mess up my whole bed. Don't worry. She's so cute. She's like looking at me with her big brown eyes. Anyway, um, yeah, it's actually super comfy. And I love that it's actually like a proper puffer jacket. I hate when you buy puffer jackets online and they like are a little bit deflated. Like this is actually a big puffer jacket, which I love. I picked this one in a size, um, I picked this one, I picked this one up in a size small slash medium and it fits me really well. I'll chuck it on for you guys now. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like and that's where it sits on me. So I wore this the other night with some gray trackies and also like a little gray crop and I just thought it looked so cute. I had like a full blown gray outfit going on, but it was definitely a vibe and I'm really glad I picked that one up. I definitely recommend that to you guys because as I said, I feel like I don't really come by a lot of like nice gray puffer jackets. I feel like there's so many like black ones and cream ones on the market, but not really gray ones like that. Next up, let me just do like a bit of a lucky dip situation here because I'm struggling. This looks quite big. I can't even remember what I got you guys. So this is going to kind of be a surprise. <gasps> oh my God. I forgot I got this. That I am dead. Sorry. This is so hot. What do you even mean? So I got to this um, brown like faux leather puffer jacket here as well. I don't have anything like this. 
It's called the Lou Puffer Jacket Chocolate Brown, and I got it in a size small, medium as well. And this one, um, it doesn't button up, but it like unclips like this, and there's also a zip as well. Wow, I love this. Are you kidding? And it also like cinches in at the waist. Oh my god, I'm so excited to wear this. I don't have anything like this. And also you can like cinch it in even more because there's drawstrings. Get out of town. I love that so much. This would look so cute again with like a play suit or even like um like a two-piece cropped short set with some like brown heels or brown boots. But yeah, as I said, I got this one in a small medium as well and I'm obsessed with this. I actually forgot I even got this but I'm so excited to wear this now and style that. Wow. I feel like I get more excited about hauls when I've had this stuff like sitting in my closet or whatever for a while because then I kind of forget what I got and then it's like a surprise to me when I open it, you know? Um, we've got another big thing here. I think this could potentially be another jacket or maybe trackies. Okay, so it's a hoodie by the looks of it. Oh, it's a um, zip up jacket. So I actually really wanted a zip up jacket because I have a lot of hoodies, but sometimes you just want something that you can um, chuck on. I'd leave this open and then like wear it off the shoulder. I really love wearing my jackets off the shoulder. Um, and I have a lot of like, just like pullover hoodies. So I needed something like this. And of course I had to get it in brown. I'm just obsessed with brown. Because of my lights, it is coming up a little bit more like warmer, but I feel like it's like a, it's not quite that warm in real life. Pick this one up in a size eight. So I'm intrigued to see how it'll look on. I kind of am thinking I should have probably got a 10 just looking at it, but I'll be able to see better once I actually have it on. And then the inside material is like this kind of fleecy material, is that what you call it? Which is nice, it makes it extra warmer in winter. And it's a really nice thick fabric as well. They definitely don't muck around with their fabric whatsoever. Everything's really nice and thick and really, really good quality. So I picked this one up in a AU size eight, as I said, but we'll see if I think I should have got a size up. I'm like, just by looking at it, I feel like I probably should have because I feel like it's one of those slouchier jackets. So just keep that in mind if you do want that look. I, uh, I have um, a pair of jeans. I picked these, one up, these ones up in a size eight. They do look a bit big, but I feel like I kind of need like big jeans like this that kind of, you know, sit nice and low on my waist. I mean, who knows, maybe when I put it on, it won't be that big and it's probably like snug around my waist. But just by looking at it, I feel like it's like a really slouchy kind of daytime Sunday pair of jeans. I have so many pairs of jeans, it's not even a joke. And I just keep buying them. Like I really need to buy more shorts, but we are also in winter, so that would be very confusing if I bought shorts. But also jeans you can wear in summer still with like a little crop. This I picked up in a size eight. Yeah, I'm excited to try these on. It's just got like two little slits at the kneecap. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that looks on. I love how I'm saying it looks like it's a big fit and I'm literally gonna laugh if it fits like super snug on me. Um, what is this? I can't remember. Oh, a pair of joggers. Got these pair of joggers right here. Sorry, that's the back. This is what they look like. What's this color? It's, it says it's a beige. I don't know why, but my lighting is making it look like a little bit greenish. Is that just me? It's just my lighting, I swear. But it is like... When I take it out of the lighting, it's definitely like a true beige color. I really love the material on this. I don't know what you'd call this. It's like a almost like a waffle kind of material, if that's what you call it. These pair of joggers, because they are like that waffle kind of fabric, they're not super thick. Like they're thick enough, but it's definitely more so something I'd wear like during the day in winter if it's a sunny day and I don't need something that's going to be super, super warm. So just keep that in mind if you do, like if you are thinking they're going to be like a super warm pair of joggers. They're not a cotton material, so... You know what I mean? Like it's not that cotton with like the fleece inside. Anyway, whatever. They've also got pockets on the side as well. And I just really like having options in my wardrobe. Like you just never know what you're gonna feel like. So I tend to have like a lot of different things in my wardrobe. Like I don't really stick to just one kind of like fabric. I love playing around with different textures and fabrics as well when I style my outfits. So yeah, I'm excited to try that one on. Alrighty, next up. Also, how cute is the packaging? See, it says, this is not your traditional plastic bag. This one is partially made from plants and it's completely compostable. When you toss it in at your home compost, it'll break down just like organic waste, leaving no nasty chemicals behind. What a vibe. I think that's amazing. I think their packaging is super cute and I love like all the stars and the logo at the front as well. I don't know, I feel like that just needed its own little moment. Ooh. I apparently got a lot of jackets. I actually think that's what I had in mind when I was on the website. I'm like, I need 
to stock up because I don't have that many jackets. Like I have a few puffer jackets, but you know, it is quite cold and I have definitely, like I got sick a couple weeks ago and I'm like, I can't be going out without jackets anymore. Like I somehow think that I'm superwoman and I'm not and I just need to start wearing jackets. So yeah, I think that's why I picked up a lot of jackets in this video, but I got this black kind of croc blazer. Again, I got this in a size eight, probably should have got it in like a 12 or something. So I might actually return this one because I feel like for something like this, again, it would look really cute with something tight underneath and then like as an oversized, like a super oversized fit. So I think I will actually return this one and get a couple of sizes bigger because just by the looks of it, um, I feel like it won't, like it's just not gonna give the look that I'm looking for. It's a really nice material. Again, it's not super thick, but it looks really luxe. So yeah, this is definitely really, really cute. Definitely on my alley. And yeah, again, as I said, I got that in a size eight. Next up, I got this really cute flanny. I love the nude. Um, I'm not really like the biggest flanny girl. Actually, I posted a photo in one the other day, but I think um, stuff like this is really cute to chuck over again, like a tight set and make it look more chill and wear like sneakers with. I actually think I got this because I just picked up the Jordan 4 sales. I'm waiting for them to come in the mail and I thought this would look really cute with like a white outfit underneath and just chuck this on top and my new Jordans and call it a day. But I picked this one up in a size eight. It looks like it's a pretty big fit. I mean, I probably should have gotten a 10 to be fair, but I didn't because I don't think. Alrighty, next up we have this little crop right here. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? So it's just like a low V crop. Wow, this is, this would actually look really good with those um, jeans that I showed you guys earlier on. But yeah, the material, this is really nice as well. It's like a slinky kind of fabric. It feels like it'd be nice and stretchy. So I can't wait to wear that one. This one I picked up in a size six. So yeah, I'm so to try this one on, I feel like. That you can wear with so many different outfits. You can wear it with trackies, shorts, jeans, literally anything. I feel like you can never go wrong with basic um, little tops. Next up, we have another little crop. So this one's just like a black tie up front crop. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this. I think the try on clip will kind of speak for itself, but it, yeah, it's just like a cropped little tee that ties up at the front. And I picked this one up in a size six again. And then we have another little crop. So this one I thought would look really cute with like a gray pair of trackies just for like those chilled kind of nights. So this one's very like sporty. It's got a little cutout at the front and I thought this would look really nice on. I don't really have many things like this. So it's just one of those things you can just chuck on if you're heading out quickly and you know, you'll still look really cute. This one I got in a size six as well. It doesn't look like it'd be super tight on, but we'll see how it looks when I have her on. I don't know what this is. Do a top. Oh God, it must be like, okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this on when I do the try on clips, but I'm pretty sure it's like a top that you can tie heaps of different ways. I'm gonna have to look at the photo, but I'll just insert the clip here of me wearing it once I figure out how to put it on. But right now I'm very confused. <laughs> so I went to look at the photo on the website. I feel like the rest of this stuff now is like little crops. So for any of you guys that live overseas and are watching this video to get some cute ideas for summer, then this part of the video is for you. But I also picked up this top right here, which I have seen so many people wearing recently. So I had to kind of jump on the bandwagon a little bit. Um, I saw my friend Verity wearing this and it looked so hot on her. She was just wearing it with like a pair of jeans. But I got this top right here, which kind of crosses over the top like this. And then it's like a V front. I don't know, you guys will see better when I try it on. And the back is fully exposed. But I love this. This just reminds me of like a chill, like Sunday drinks kind of session vibe. So yeah, I'm excited to try her on and see how she looks. I got this one in a size extra small slash small, but it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you can kind of like tighten it or loosen it as much as you want. So it doesn't really matter what size you get really. Uh, this I think is actually a skirt from memory. Yeah, this I saw on the website as well and I just knew I had to get it. So it's just like a long skirt. I think that on the website, the girl was wearing it like as a low waist skirt, if I'm remembering correctly. But I picked this one up in a size six and yeah, it's a super cute, just long maxi skirt. You can never go wrong with something like this. Again, it's more so something that I'd wear like in the summertime, but um, you know. Knowing me, I'd probably still try and get away with wearing it in winter, doll. 
Ooh. All right, you guys are going to die over this. I feel like silk little dresses are coming back into trend. Coming back into trend. <laughs> um, are coming back in trend. Like, there's no tomorrow. I've seen, like, so many TikToks of girls wearing little silk dresses. And I just feel like everyone's, like, jumping on the bandwagon again. So, I had to pick up this kind of beigey nude silk dress. This is so cute. I can already tell I love the length of it. I am five foot five, so you guys will kind of see where it cuts off on me personally. But I just love how like cute and delicate silk dresses are. This is definitely more so something that I'd wear in winter. It also has like a little slit on the side for here. How cute is that? Sorry, it's definitely more so something I'd wear in summer, but in winter I could probably get away with wearing this during the day if I chucked on like a nude blazer over the top. I believe that's a size extra small as well. Alrighty, so last but not least, I got this top right here, which I actually saw my friend Ali wearing, and I was like, oh my god, where is that from? That is so cute. And she said it was from Princess with it. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my god. Can we just like focus for the last two minutes of this video, please? Brain, please? Anyways, yeah, she said it was from Princess Polly, so I knew I had to pick it up. Um, but it's just like a little cute white bralette. You can never go wrong. This you can wear with so many different things again. You can wear it with jeans, trackies, shorts, skirts, literally anything. These are so versatile, so... I love this. I picked this one up in a size 6. When she was wearing it, it didn't look see-through at all. So we will see when I try it on. Alrighty. So there we have it, you guys. That was everything I picked up. I feel like this was like a really big haul. But I am absolutely obsessed with every single thing that I got in this video. I literally can't fault one thing that I showed you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know if you guys pick anything up. And yeah, I hope you guys all have the best weekend ever and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.